Okay, now that we've taken our measurements, let's go ahead and create our key guard with raised tabs. And this is our generic key guard look here. Let's, uh, first of all, we'll go ahead and make it for the mini uh, iPad. We'll uncover the camera and home button. Then remember that our mounting method is raise tabs and note the words for cases here. Just to remind me to go back and define that I do have a case. I Yes, I have a case. And the measurements I took for height of the opening in the case, this is the inside of the of the hard edged screen protector as well is let's see height is 121 and the width is 161 as you can see it doesn't leave a whole lot of room around the edge there's just a thin piece of plastic but it should be should still hold up fairly well and let's now go down to the raised tabs information section and provide some information about our tabs. It looks like the edge of the case comes up to about 8 millimeters. That was the underside of that ruler going across. But I want to add an additional 4 uh, millimeters for the Velcro that we're going to use to attach the key guard to the, to the case. So that would be 8 plus 4 is 12. We'll make the, the height 12. Then the width from the edge of the screen out to the end of the flat area of the case was 25 millimeters. We'll make this 25. And lastly, uh, we can go with a little bit thinner uh, tab this will still hold up very well and that's what our finished key guard will look like let's go ahead and render that design choosing render from the design menu we can watch the progress in this progress bar at the bottom it could take several minutes so I'll go ahead and pause the video until it's done rendering okay that rendering took about five and a half minutes on my laptop so the next step is simply to save this design as an STL file that you can print and you do that by clicking on the file menu export and export as STL the uh, what will happen at this point is it will bring up a a save window and you can save the STL file in some location that you can easily locate